A frightening situation in a Piqua neighborhood. Two teenagers pull up to the side of the road, pull out guns, and start firing at people on the sidewalk. Kelly May joins us now live with more. Kelly. Yeah, Deb, this started Thursday afternoon. A neighbor saw what happened and ran inside, called 911. Then today, a second shots fired situation. Police say the same suspect. I was born and raised here, and no. I never see this ever. Yeah. It's scary. Kathy Powers frantically called police Thursday afternoon after what happened right in front of her house. I was shaking. We called 911 right away. Piqua police say this man, 18 year old Justin Sturgeon, and a 15 year old male passenger pulled up to some people in the 500 block of Wood Avenue. They yelled something, then pulled out two guns and fired. Fortunately, this uh, <laughs> doesn't happen often. That's not a usual weapon that we see used in. Uh, drive-bys. Police say the driver, Justin Sturgeon, was using a shotgun. The 15-year-old had a handgun. After they shot at the people on the sidewalk, both of them picked up the shell casings and jumped in their Jeep and took off. After searching overnight, police were called this afternoon to this house on Sherman Street to another report of shots fired. Officers did find a shotgun at a house near where the second shooting happened. They also seized these marijuana plants from a small grow room. Police say the 15-year-old has been taken into custody. He's charged with tampering with evidence. Late this evening, Justin Sturgeon turned himself in. We're not, again, sure that everybody's telling us the entire story. It just was scary that somebody so young would have guns, you know, and not care. Tonight, police are still looking for that handgun used in Thursday's shooting. If you have any information, call Piqua Police. In the studio tonight, Kelly May, Fox 45 News.